What's a doctor's weirdest case of a patient accurately self-diagnosing? I'm working the night shift in the ER when this college kid walks in at 2 a.m., holding a crumpled piece of paper. He looked like he hadn't slept in days, just in a wrinkled hoodie and flip-flops. The triage nurse rolled her eyes because we get tons of students who are convinced they're dying from WebMD searches. The kid, maybe 19 or 20, sits down and right away starts explaining his symptoms. But instead of the usual, I think I have cancer, panic, he pulls out this handwritten list with detailed observations. He'd been tracking his symptoms for three weeks, like it was a science experiment. He tells me he's been getting these weird episodes where his vision goes blurry, his hands shake, and he feels like he's going to pass out. But here's the kicker. He'd figured out the exact pattern. It had happened every Tuesday and Thursday at 11.15 a.m. and then again on Fridays at 2.30 p.m. Most patients can barely remember when their symptoms started, but this guy had charts. Actual charts with timestamps, what he'd eaten, how much sleep he'd gotten, even the weather. I was impressed, but skeptical. Then he drops the bombshell. He thinks he has insulinoma, a rare pancreatic tumor that causes random blood sugar crashes. I almost laughed, because that's something most doctors go their entire careers without ever seeing. The odds of a college kid correctly diagnosing this are basically zero. But he'd done his homework so thoroughly, I decided to humor him. We ran the tests during his next predicted episode. Sure enough, his blood sugar tanked to dangerous levels right when he said it would. The weird part was, he'd figured it out because his class schedule had changed mid-semester. His symptoms always hit exactly two hours after he ate at the dining hall. He'd started tracking which days he ate there and realized the pattern was a perfect match. Most people would have just thought they were stressed from school. This kid treated himself like a lab rat and cracked the code. The tumor was tiny, totally invisible on regular scans. We only found it because he told us exactly when to look. After the surgery, he was totally fine. But the story doesn't end there. Word got around the hospital about the student who outsmarted his doctors. Other medical students started bringing him their weird symptoms as a joke. The attending was so impressed that he offered the kid a research position. Turns out, the guy wasn't even pre-med. He was a computer science major. He'd just applied the same logic he used for debugging code to his own body. 